Good afternoon and welcome to the 52nd Annual Commencement Exercises for the College of Southern Idaho. Please remain standing for the National Anthem as performed by the CSI Madrigals under the direction of Serena Jenkins-Clark. Please remain standing for the invocation offered by Jade Wilson, Student Body Vice President of the College of Southern Idaho. Let us bow our heads. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us all together for this very special day. As we gather here today, we remember those who were not with us to celebrate this milestone in these students' lives. We ask you to watch over our loved ones, no matter where they may be. Today is a graduation, a passage, a completion, an inauguration. We pray for all of those who have met the challenge and kept the faith to the commitments of their studies. We ask you to give each student the direction, purpose, and perseverance as they take the next step into their future. Please give them clearness of mind to move forward into the plans and purposes that you have set for them. May this graduation day be a celebration of your life within us. Thank you for the success you have allowed to each and every one of us here today. And may you continue to guide us through our next endeavors in life. Father, may we behold your beauty and encounter your grace on this day and every day forward. I say these things in the name of our dear Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. To offer greetings from the College of Southern Idaho Board of Trustees, Trustee Jack Nelson. Good afternoon. On behalf of the College of Southern Idaho Board of Trustees, it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome the graduates, administration, faculty, staff, and friends to the 52nd Annual CSI Commencement. Special guests with us this afternoon are Debbie Critchfield, member of the Idaho State Board of Education,
and recently retired superintendent of the Twin Falls School District, Dr. Wiley Dobbs. <clears throat> the backbone of our institution are the members of our outstanding administration, faculty, and staff. We would like to recognize and thank the following members of our CSI family who are retiring this year. First, Terry Patterson. Sir, would you please stand up? Terry Patterson, Dean of Instruction, 40 years. James Woods, Emeritus Professor of Anthropology, 42 years. Teresa Sepp, Emeritus Professor of Information Technology, 16 years. Betty Zimmerman, Emeritus Professor of Registered Nursing, 14 years. Sandy Ewell, Instructor of Registered Nursing, nine years. And Brenda Larson, Emeritus Professor of Philosophy, who retired in December 2017 with 23 years with us. Before I conclude my remarks, I'd like to do a special thank you on behalf of the trustees and administration for a young lady named Kathy Deal. Uh, everybody's robe, have the correct cloaks, all that good stuff. She sweated all the details for this. So on behalf of everybody on stage, Kathy, thank you. The Board of Trustees would also like to thank the alumni and community for their ongoing support of this outstanding ed educational institution. Thank you and welcome to the College of Southern Idaho commencement. To offer remarks on behalf of the student body, the President of the Associated Students of the College of Southern Idaho, Lance Teske. My fellow students, it has been an honor serving as your student body president for the last year. It was a great opportunity, and I admire you for what you have accomplished. For I have not yet completed my time here, and look forward to the day when I can sit where you are at, to be able to look back on all the good that was accomplished, and to not have to worry about speaking in front of everyone again. This year was sprinkled with many triumphs and much growth. We've had multiple sports teams placed nationally. The basketball team and the newly formed cross country program, who both came home with many national rankings. Along with that, many others. To name a few more things that we've accomplished, our student leadership banded together to create the first ever strategic plan that is helping unify all student run organizations on campus. Another wonderful milestone for me this year was that I had the opportunity to meet the love of my life and make her my wife. She is an amazing woman. I couldn't come this far without her. At CSI this year, we have also witnessed a miracle. After an accident in the arena, one of our very own CSI rodeo members was paralyzed from the waist down. The doctor told him he could never walk again. He, he, the doctor told him he could never walk again. Yet his spirit remained undimmed, and he remained one of the most positive and life-loving individuals you would have ever met. <clears throat> and not but a few short months ago, I saw this same individual on stage dancing at one of our school dances. His example of courage and determination will outlive his time at CSI. That is a list of some of the incredible things that have been accomplished this year that will leave your mark here at CSI. But let's rewind a little back to the beginning of the year. On the first day back from summer vacation, a colossal event took place that stirred the whole nation and even the world. It was the first total eclipse to be visible by all America since 1918. If you missed it, I'm sorry. We'll just have to wait another couple hundred years. It drew in thousands of people from all over the world to small town Idaho. Needless to say, it was a big deal. 
Millions watched in person and even more millions watched online. It was a day that most won't forget. A solar eclipse is a phenomenon where the sun, the moon, and the earth all align perfectly. With the moon between them blocking out the entirety of the sun's light. As I am sure you all know, thanks to first grade science class, the sun is much larger than the moon. But let me put this into perspective for you and show you how astonishing this natural phenomenon really is. So imagine for a second the size of a large truck tire. Now imagine the size of the head of the pin. Now, take the head of the pin and block out the entirety of the large truck tire. That is what a solar eclipse is like. When placed side by side, there is no doubt which one is bigger. But when allowed close enough and placed directly between us and the pin, but when placed directly between us and the tire, the pin consumes our focus entirely. This is very similar to a phenomenon that takes place in our lives. An example of this is what I like to call the scrolling syndrome. How often do we get on our phone with the intent of doing something important and then all of a sudden, by the time we realize what's happened, 30 minutes has gone by and we're still scrolling on Facebook. There's so much psychological noise in our world today. Things poking, tweeting, and snapping us to, snapping at us to log on and check our feed, or the temptation to binge away our day to Netflix. The distractions are endless. The average American sees about 5,000 ads a day and can name more brands and recognize more logos than names of living plants and animals combined. Everyone wants everything from you. They want your time, your money, your attention, your effort, and your praise. But what do you want from you? What do you expect from yourself? Is it packing in pointless extra appointments for a line of work that promises promotions, but when all is said and done, points you to the doors because they can't afford you anymore? Or is it spending time developing the kind of you you know will create your design and meet the bottom line in order to achieve your dream? It is all a matter of perspective. If we let these tiny insignificant things that surround us take the center stage in our lives, that center will become the extent of what we aim for at work and relationships and with our passions. The key is to put our perspective in line with our priorities. Sometimes doing less means accomplishing more. Less tech, less texting over more talking to people. Less resume building over life living. Less posting over peace of mind. Fast forward 10 years from now, and based on the current course you're headed, do you think that's where you want to be? Is that the center you want to aim for? If not, there is probably an eclipse in your life blocking out the light you seek. It is time to end the eclipses in our lives. In conclusion, since the year started with an eclipse, I found it almost poetic that we should end with it. <clears throat> it's not to say that there are any eclipses forecast for today. But many of us will probably never get to see another solar eclipse in our lives, just like we may never see anyone else in this room ever again. In fact, you may never even come back to CSI after moving forward from this point. But me, I choose to remember. I choose to remember in vivid color the lessons learned here and that historical event that took place on August 21st, 2017, because it means something to me. It symbolizes something greater. I choose to remember a quote by my good friend, Stephen Covey. And I think he says it best. It says, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. Things, there are things in our lives that are so much more vastly important to us in the long run than other things, but often they take the back seat in our everyday lives. They are important to our success and our happiness. They are the small things and the simple things but they make us who we are. The system of society was built to bring us what we wanted most, but too often it is the very thing that keeps us from what matters most. Do not let the prospectively puny and insignificant matters get so close that they blind us to the shining suns that lie just beyond them. Everyone can tell you what they think you should do, but only you can decide what matters most. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. To introduce today's guest speaker, please welcome CSI President, Dr. Jeff Fox. Thank you, Jason. Dr. Wiley Dobbs is a native of Twin Falls. 
and a graduate of the College of Southern Idaho. In high school and college, he competed in the sport of judo, and in 1980, he was invited to the United States Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. Upon graduation from Boise State University in 1982, Wiley became a teacher and taught social studies in English and worked as a head wrestling coach at three different schools, Bear Lake High School, O'Leary Junior High School, and Twin Falls High School. In 1989, he received his master's degree in school administration from the College of Idaho. He was hired as principal at Magic Valley High School in 1990 and at O'Leary Junior High School in 1992. While at O'Leary, he received the Idaho Secondary Principal of the Year Award in 1999 for the state of Idaho. Wiley earned his PhD in education from the University of Idaho by attending classes in the evenings and on weekends. In July of 2003, Wiley was hired to be the Twin Falls School District Superintendent of Schools. He received the Idaho Superintendent of the Year Award in 2013. In 2017, he more or less retired after 34 years of service to the students of Idaho. In addition to traveling the world with his wife, Christina, he serves as a regional coordinator for the Idaho Digital Learning Academy and is a mentor for new principals. Those are the facts in the storied career of Wiley Dobbs, but he didn't get to do all those things by simply being efficient or perseverant. And I'd like to share a little bit about my friend and the person who has made a difference in the state of Idaho from the from the single student to the larger system. Wiley is a leader. He speaks from the heart and people trust him. And he has, he has made a difference in individual students all along the way. I can't think of a better way to recognize the importance of the superintendent, the principal, the teacher, the man, by saying that he changed lives one student at a time. I hope he changes your life today. Please help me in welcoming Dr. Wiley Dobbs. Thank you, Dr. Fox. Good afternoon, graduates, CSI faculty, board members, family, and guests. For many decades, the College of Southern Idaho has been very important to my family. So speaking here this afternoon is an overwhelming honor. My father, Wesley H. Dobbs, was one of CSI's charter faculty members. After working as a police officer for 20 years, he started the CSI law enforcement program in 1965 and taught here for 30 years. My brother Brian Dobbs now teaches sociology and oversees the CSI honors program. I can see him right back there. If somebody hits me with a laser pointer in the forehead, it's probably him. As for me, 40 years ago, 40, May of 1978, in this same gym, on what I think were these same blue chairs, they apparently were an excellent investment. I received my associate's degree and shook hands with Doc Taylor, the very first president of the College of Southern Idaho, much the same way you'll do in a few minutes with the fourth president of the College of Southern Idaho, Dr. Jeff Fox. I remember many of the faculty members there that night. Tony Mannon, Bob Spire, Fran Golding, Jerry Meyerhofer, Bill Studebaker, Bob Wright, and my judo coaches, Guy Matswoka, and my dad. I'm standing here today on their shoulders. We lost my dad a few months ago at the age of 90, and every memory of him is so meaningful now. When I graduated from CSI 40 years ago, I was blessed to have my beautiful mother there as well. In fact, as I recall, I wasn't going to attend this, the ceremony. Through gritted teeth, my mom said, you're the first member of my family to earn a college degree. You are going to go, and I'm going to watch you get it. Got it? Well, I went. Uh, she's here today. My mom, would you wave up here, mom? That's my mom. My mom is and has always been a fierce supporter of my brothers and me. In fact, here's a safety tip. Now please feel free to criticize my speech after the ceremony today, but for your own safety, make sure you're not next to her. 
<laughs> if she hears you, it's likely you will receive her purse right upside your head. Just saying. Despite my family's deep connection to this school, and despite the robes and regalia that you see me wearing tonight, let's just say I wasn't academic back then. In fact, if you'd asked those faculty members 40 years ago, they would have voted me least likely to be giving the commencement speech today. Amongst themselves, I imagine them uh, looking at each other skeptically and saying, God help that long-haired Dobbs kid if the judo thing doesn't work out. <laughs> but here's what they couldn't have known. Rewind further back than that night 40 years ago, my brother Greg was six and I was seven when we began going to judo practice with our dad. He had studied judo in the army in, in Japan after World War II and turned out to be an absolute judo prodigy. Upon his return to the United States, he handily won what's now the National Judo Championship. I, however, did not turn out to be a judo prodigy. I was small, skinny, knock-kneed, nearsighted. I was smaller than my younger brother and nothing at all like my strapping father who seemed to be 10 feet tall and made of steel. But I tried like nothing else mattered. No matter how sickly and strong, scrawny I must have seemed, I kept trying. Judo tournament after tournament. Loss after loss. I pretty much lost every match until I was 15 years old. Now think about that. I lost for eight years. But I didn't quit because my dad didn't emphasize winning. He emphasized learning and improving. I remember one particular moment in a tournament, I got smeared. I mean, really slammed hard with a judo throw. It was one of those throws that sounded like a bomb went off in the gymnasium. And the entire gym made a, an ooh sound. And everyone was looking at me. My dad was waiting for me on the side of the mat. And he bent over to match my tiny frame. And he said one thing. That was a beautiful fall. <laughs> he went on to say, most people would have been hurt really bad by that throw. Well done. If he'd have been critical of me, of me during that time, I would have quit and missed the activity that helped me the most in my life. I never forgot that. I always knew it was okay to fall, so long as I got back up. And that was not my last fall, but after enough years, I finally put up some wins, became pretty good at the sport of judo. But I have used that fall, that beautiful fall, as a metaphor. For me, life has been a series of beautiful falls. I've learned to anticipate them, to be ready for them, to have a backup plan, to have a backup plan to my backup plan. I've learned to get up each time, to dust myself off, try again. And I've found that I have a well of perseverance and strength. And you won't always fall. Sometimes the answer is yes, and things just click. Sometimes the door is unlocked. You figure out the right sequence. Sometimes you work through it and level up. Today I have one great wish for you. I left CSI in 1978 in pursuit of a dream to be a teacher and a coach. I spent 35 wonderful years in the field of education and I enjoyed it as much as a career can be enjoyed. I hope you find a career that you love too. I know your family members and friends are very proud of you for receiving your, associate, your associate's degree or certificate this afternoon. Keep in mind, however, that this is not the last thing you'll work towards. Graduating today is not a final statement about you. This is a beginning, not an ending. If I could recommend just one thing today, it would be to find the people your family, your teachers, your friends who have inspired you and thank them. Because of their influence, you are now more likely to become successful 
and to take what you've learned thus far in your lives and here at this great College of Southern Idaho and do some incredible things. You'll have the opportunity to work and enjoy a career that you choose. You'll be able to innovate, to learn, to create, solve problems and help others. A chance to show your compassion. There will be those moments when you can demonstrate your courage too, your ability to persevere. You're gonna experience some beautiful falls and that's okay. Just dust yourself off and get back up each and every time. Congratulations, College of Southern Idaho, class of 2018. To present the CSI Foundation Awards for Teaching Excellence, the Executive Director of the College of Southern Idaho Foundation, Deborah Wilson. The College of Southern Idaho Foundation and the Associated Students of the College of Southern Idaho proudly salute the outstanding faculty at the College of Southern Idaho with the 2017-18 Faculty Excellence Awards. The Faculty Excellence Award for Academic Faculty goes to Dr. Michelle Critchfield. Assistant Professor, Registered Nursing. Michelle believes that the real proof of her teaching lies in what her students learn in their short time together. She dedicates a major portion of her time teaching her students to be compassionate and to understand versus judge their patients. Her students take her teaching to heart. Their comments include, the most important thing I have learned is compassion. I learned not to judge and to put on my patient's jersey. The social cultural aspect of nursing is huge and patients deserve the ability to trust their caregiver. I learned to think differently. Dr. Critchfield is dedicated to her students, her department, her colleagues, her college, and her patients. We are proud to recognize Michelle for 2017-18. It is so crazy to be up here and I wish I wish you guys could see how good you all look you look amazing and I'm so proud of you I'm so proud of you for coming here and doing something that you didn't have to do I'm sure you were all doing just fine doing whatever you were doing but something inside of you said you wanted to be different or said you wanted to change or said you wanted to be a little bit better and that's a brave and a hard thing to do and I, I salute you and I want to say thank you for being better and going back out into our community and being awesome. Um, sometimes people ask me what kind of nurse doesn't be a nurse? What kind of nurse is a teacher? And I guess I don't know the answer to that, but I know that I'm proud to say that that's me. And I come here every day because I learn so much more from my students than, than I could ever teach them. And this afternoon is especially awesome because my students are here and my people are out there. And I wanna say that, I wanna, I wanna say to them that I am so excited to call them graduates. I am honored to call them my fellow nurses. But more than anything, I am so happy to call them my friends. Thank you. The Faculty Excellence Award for Career Technical Faculty goes to John Brannon. Assistant Professor, Practical Nursing. John's student comments include, 
John demonstrates adaptability, support, and has so much compassion for what he teaches. He teaches us about nursing, but he also teaches us about life. He incorporates love, dignity, and compassion for others in every lesson. John does not believe he actually teaches. Rather, he believes that he helps students open the door to education by providing them with tools to learn. He utilizes transformational theory because by discovering who they are, this will free his students from preconceived notions and allow them to provide compassionate and quality care for others. He believes that the greatest honor you will ever have is to care for another human being. We are pleased to honor John for the 2017 CTE Faculty of the Year. A real honor. I love what I do here. Uh, I've been a nurse for 25 years and it, it all started here at CSI. And from there I've, I've gone out into the nursing world and then I came back about 13 years ago. I always wanted to teach, but it didn't pay very well. <laughs> But I have had the most amazing journey here. The colleagues that I work with are phenomenal. The administration has always been supportive. There's nothing like taking a walk around the campus here. This is a wonderful institution. But the best part, and the best part about this award, is it comes from your students. This is where this all starts. You are everything. Every day I come here, I am happy to be on campus if I can be with my students. Because what happens is, is you come in and I see these students and they're going to get in this nursing curriculum and they're stressed and they're scared and they're worried about what's going to happen. And they sit down and they begin to listen. Now I just got done with a class that knew how to do the dance. They sat down, they asked questions, they challenged me, and they always did it respectfully, which allowed me to be the best me that I could be. And in that process, it gave me the opportunity to let them be the best version of them that they could be. I'm sure all of you now have experienced that with some of the faculty that have allowed you to be you. Each one of you, inside is an amazing person. You are here for the universe to unfold. That's how important you are. The dance that I've done with you, getting to know you, can be boiled down to a quote by Carl Jung. Whenever two personalities meet, it is like two substances that interact. If there is any type of interaction, both are transformed. My students transform me every day into a better version of me. And I want to thank you for that. You have enriched my life. You know, I look out on these faces out here and I remember I was one of you once. And I have the most amazing life now because I became me. I hope you do the same. Graduates, please stand. To present the candidates for degrees, Associate of Science, Associate of Arts, and Associate of Applied Science degrees and certificates, Dr. Todd Schwartz, Executive Vice President and Chief Academic Officer for the College of Southern Idaho.
President Fox, before you stand, the candidates have completed all the requirements for associate's degrees, technical certificates, and academic certificates as established by the faculty and administration of the College of Southern Idaho and approved by the Board of Trustees. I recommend that the appropriate degree or certificate be conferred upon them now. To confer the degrees and certificates to the graduating class of 2018, President of the College of Southern Idaho, Dr. Jeff Fox. Thank you. By the power vested in me by the College of Southern Idaho Board of Trustees, I hereby confer the degrees and certificates upon these candidates as recommended by Executive Vice President Schwartz. In recognition of your new status, let me move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2018. Graduates, please be seated. Guests, we ask that you please remain in your seats while the students receive their diplomas. Commencement staff, please prepare the students to approach the stage. Jade Robin Wilson. Alexis Carlos. <laughs> Amy Holder. Ah! Evan Michael Allen. <laughs> Braden Robert Ford. Evando Leon Vega. Perla Samantha Contreras Regoza. Hauser. Hauser. Allison Kate Hauser. Barger. Devry Barger. Camille Marie Smith. Delaney. Joe. Delaney Joe Ward. Brianna Melanie Walnita Prouse. <laughs> Riley Olson. <laughs> Charlotte Amber Molinix. <laughs> Antonio Calderon Juarez. Hadley Nicole Kimball. Lindsay Foster. Jessica Cheyenne Jackson. Gretchen Bailey Plank. Michaela Bravo Kastner. Alondra Becerra. <laughs> Ashley Lynn Hoffman. 
Ashley Jane Ruth. Caitlin Felix. Kelsey Renee Shern. Trent Lucas Erickson. Elise Rose Desital. Amy Brower. Miden Senarusa. Miden Senarusa. Tracy. Tracen Ryan Kite. Colin Douglas Short. Michael Roger Anderson. Fred Seifert. Nicholas Bixby. Austin John Vorwaller. Fregoso. Steven Fregoso. Clayton Terry. Caleb John Bridgman. Joshua David Ashner. Hope Abigail Henry. Maria Guadalupe Alvarez Zavala. Matthew Michael Rafferty. Ryan Stephen Donoho. Preston Terry. Mackenzie Luann Clancy. Mariela Gavina Lopez. Zoe Christine Rudkin. Bailey Zanone. Brandon Kurt Larson. Kelsey Roxanne Reynolds. Camille Joan Bourne. Ray Birch. Micah Ray Birch. <laughs> Haley D. Campbell. <laughs> Tasha Lynn Ridgeby. <laughs> Yeah. 
Mandy Jo Kendall. Dilworth. Dilworth. Jordan Keith Dilworth. Rachel Taylor. Garrett Tim Osborne. Grayson Owen Garner. Kayla McKinnis. Jessica Malagon. Kelby Russell Wilson Owen. <laughs> Janet Patino. <laughs> Ashley Jean Finwall. <laughs> Whitney Nicole DeVore. Christian Alejandro Jaramillo Lopez. Morgan Suzanne Rumsey. Kennedy Taylor Bell. Anjanette Elkhurst. Kelsey and Jeanette Elquist. <laughs> Carrie Michelle Matthews. Vicky Gomez. Kaylee Harrison. Cindy Marie Reynaga. <laughs> Christina McNutt. <laughs> Ashley Renee Rains. <laughs> Tyler Justin Rains. Shauna Lee Smith. Cassidy Blake Smith. Kira Dosher. Oscar Gerard Ochoa. Luke Scarrow. Jesse Cantu. Jesse Cantu. Jesse Cantu. <laughs> Christina Roxanne Gill. Alma Mejorado. <laughs> Joanna Orbain. <laughs> Briani Lynn Rapp. <laughs> Sarah Susan West. Woo! 
Meredith Ann Bridges. Brittany Lynn Taylor. Fernando Santana. Hayel Padron. Mauricio Ayala Mercado. Justin True Grover. Michaela Nicole Jones. Jane Conkright. Danielle Faye Wright. Cassandra Michaela Legoretta Barnett. <laughs> Cassandra Michaela Legoretta Barnett. <laughs> Alyssa Cruz Hawkins. Morgan Margaret Myers. Dilbert Joseph Capsperson. Gadbury. Jacob Samuel Gadbury. Andrew James Nieto. Randy Don Schlepia. <laughs> Julian Blair Jerky. Sydney May Corb. Jessica Wilson. Blanca Diaz. Alondra Muro Flores. Mark Denning. Kyle Coltharp. <laughs> Kyle Coots. Hurtado. Tanya Munoz Hurtado. Dvora Via Gomez. Roman Garza. Juan Lionel Vasquez. Michelle Diane Morgan. Kelly Christine Klepfer. <laughs> Kaylin Noel Bybee.
Stephanie Matthews. Talencia Argyle. Janelle Amber Hagler. Brooke Nicole Wilkins. Taylor Danielle Vogler. Shelby Ann Parker. I'm sorry, Shelly Ann Parker. Katie Fern Trappett. Eduardo Dominguez Lino. Carla Jo Barnhart. Celeste. Maria Celeste Martinez. <laughs> Denise Haurigi. <laughs> Delia. Delia Mariana Puencencia. Taylor Nicole Menzel. Madison Janae Blackwell. Wendy Eliza Pearson. Zachary Mason Dixon. Kara Cornelia Quigley. <laughs> Devin Allen White. <laughs> Kamal Koirala. Anna Christina Jaimes. Baltazar Lara Estrada. Jordan Renee Cates. Riley Dean Stump. <laughs> JC Ray Ingle. <laughs> Charlie Sue Ball. <laughs> Rosa Marie Banderas. Anthony Bazzetti. <laughs> Matthew Leland Lampman. <laughs> Abigail Nicole Duff. Chalice McKinley Delbo. Okay. Dylan Kincaid. <laughs> Kylie Christina Elmore. Yeah. 
Jeanette Beltran Enriquez. Jasmina Hukic. Jasmina Hukic. 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 Jasmina Hukic. <laughs> Dina Miller. Masa Naruzi Aso. Francisco Rodriguez. Alejandro Rivas. Alejandro Rivas. Vanessa Hernandez Rivas. Jose Alfonso Rivas Conde. Joshua Scott Cheney. Krista Lynn Meyer. Emily Catherine Maxwell. Ryan Carter. Bethany Smith. Carly Renee Cook. Colton Many Goats. Azucena Picasso Ochoa. Azucena Picasso Ochoa. Tamara Kopp. Harley Ann Lugo. Swahili. 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 Chavez. Alvarez. Kimberly Sanchez. Matt Van Deest. Cody Allen Jones. Jennifer Nicole Reddington. Ashley Marie Slagle. <laughs> Ashley Marie Pierce. <laughs> Ashley Marie Burnham. <laughs> Naomi Valadez. Melendrez. Maria de los Angeles Venegas. Angeles. Maria de los Angeles Venegas. Jacqueline Vasquez. Abriana Peterson. Melissa Renee Hunt. <laughs> Kevin Bradley Gleason. Aspen Rose 
read. Brinley Michaela Wells. Nikki Crystal Baird. Ariel Martinez. Delfina Magana. Tanisha Henderson. Joshua Powell the third. Sabrina McRae Sullivan. Samuel Wadsworth. Adriana. Adriana Vega. Graduates, please rise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the College of Southern Idaho is proud to present to you the graduating class of 2018. <laughs> standing for the benediction offered by student body vice president Jade Wilson. Let us bow our heads. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for our time here together. Thank you for the new friendships we have made. May they last a lifetime and bring happiness to us all. Thank you for our instructors and mentors who have pushed us to be the best we can be over these past few years. We have faced many challenges, but overcame them to accomplish much more. We understand that our lives will now move into a new chapter where there will be more challenges to face and more will be demanded of us in order to accomplish what we want out of life. May your grace cover our anxieties and fears so that we may stay encouraged about the future you have in store for us. Heavenly Father, give us patience and hope to energize our next step in life. Give us courage to face the challenges ahead where we may live in peace, service, and gratitude. Give us strength to resist the temptations of greed, laziness, pride, and envy as we strive to do and be our best. As we commence with our lives, may we grow ever more grateful and wise. We ask you to please continue to bless the graduates with love, protection, mercy, strength, and wisdom. Father, we thank you for all the many blessings you have given us on this day and every day forward. I say these things in the name of our dear Heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. We invite all students and guests to the Taylor Building to attend a reception immediately following the commencement ceremony. Please remain standing as President Fox presents the Faculty Honor March. 
I want to thank you all for attending the 2018 CSI commencement ceremony. And for you graduates out there, just so you know, your uh, CSI women's softball team took the, net, the regional championships today. They'll be going to St. George, Utah for the national tournament next week. The men play for the championship game tomorrow, so if you like baseball, come on out. In closing, our faculty would like to pay tribute to our new graduates as they leave this commencement ceremony. Faculty, please take your positions for the honor march.